Hey, what's going on, y'all? So I'm just out here taking a walk, and I'm about to show you a workout video, but I want to talk to you all on a very real level. Um, the workout you're about to see is basically just a pull workout with some pushing worked in. Uh, I've been doing total body workouts lately because of jujitsu, right? They just work better for me at this point in my life because my goals aren't bodybuilding. But I still very much have a bodybuilder's heart. You know, I want muscle, I want strength, I want the look, right? And, and uh, that's always been something that's been really important to me because when I was a kid, I was the littlest, scrawniest motherfucker alive. And this is what it comes down to for most of us. It's insecurity, right? Most of us have some sort of feeling of inadequacy that we're trying to bring out in our bodies. That's not a bad thing to admit, right? And it's not a bad thing to admit because it's part of you, it's part of your past, it's part of your upbringing. But the problem is a lot of us don't want to admit to that. A lot of us don't want to admit to the fact that it is very much a fucking insecurity, right? It's, it's a pathology in our heads that drives us to do what we do. You know, we want to be the best version of ourselves and I'm not saying that anybody doesn't, but it's this thing, this fear that we all have that somehow we're gonna be perceived as weak, somehow we're gonna be perceived as not good enough. Another fear that we're gonna look in the mirror someday and we're gonna see ourselves and we're gonna think we're not good enough. And that's a problem. It's a problem because you are good enough, right? You are good enough to do anything you want, but it takes time. It takes time. If you see me now, Compared to where I was a year ago, I was 30 pounds heavier a year ago and I was at a lower body fat percentage than I am now. And I've been up and down this ladder dealing with ulcerative colitis flare ups, dealing with sickness, dealing with bullshit. But the only thing I can say for myself is that I have not given up on what I want, how I want to be, who I want to be, most important of all. Now, I get a lot of emails from all of you, and this is the big reason why I'm doing this commentary right now and not talking about the workout. I get a lot of emails from all of you, and a lot of you, you come at me like there's something wrong with you. Like, okay, you've been working out for three months and you haven't gotten any gains yet, and you're worried about it, and I can, hear, I can see the fear in your words. It's that feeling of you not feeling like you're adequate enough. And this is my message to all of you. You are adequate enough as long as you keep working, right? It doesn't matter how much muscle you have. It doesn't matter how much strength you have because strength is not a friggin' attribute. It's an action, right? You keep working for strength. You have to volunteer to be strong, right? Strength is an action and strength is voluntary. And so what real strength is, is not some singular act, it's not how you look, it's all in what you are willing to work for. How much are you willing to put out? Now, this is the thing, I'm not talking about your muscles. I'm not talking about your fucking six pack and I'm not talking about your deadlift. What I'm talking about is your life. If you are so willing to give up on this, if you are so willing to get a negative attitude over this, what are you gonna do when you're actually trying to do something big with your life? What are you gonna do when you start a business and nobody fucking shows up to fucking buy your shit? What are you gonna do when you get a C on your first paper in school, when some of you get to college? What are you gonna do when you fuck up when you get into the military? Right? You don't have the option of feeling sorry for yourself in life. You don't have the option of saying, oh my God, maybe I'm not good enough to do this. No, you have to fucking survive and you have to fucking live. So my biggest words for all of you, stop looking at lifting and muscles is some sort of status thing. And look at this process, this quest you're on, this mission as something that's developing you 
for the rest of your life and all the amazing things that you will someday do in it. That's my message for the day. Hope that you like this video. Um, and I hope you got a lot out of it.